Hey guys, Marco here. Welcome back to another ukulele lesson. Today I want to talk to you about melodic chords. Now for me, a melodic chord is a chord that has some melody in it. And, you know, it doesn't necessarily mean that we have to play, you know, a melody, a lot of notes. Sometimes we can literally just change one single note within the chord to make it more melodic, like this. Since you can see guys, it doesn't have to be difficult, doesn't have to be challenging, and we can add so much color to the chords with just one simple step. Now in this lesson guys, I want to show you a bunch of melodic chords, and I want to show you how we can transform a simple chord progression into something beautiful and melodic. Of course, we can approach these chords with either the strumming technique or the finger picking technique. And of course, guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to approach the melodic chords with both strumming and finger style. Now, I'm going to be using a tenor ukulele. So this is the tuning G, C, E, A. Now, we are in the key of G major and the first chord is the G major chord. And one thing that we can do uh, to make this chord more melodic is to change the top string, the first string. Now, the G major chord is this one. Uh, so it's open two, three, and two, and we can change the first string for number two to the open string, like this. And I'm adding a little bit of rhythm to the chord. I'm usually just strumming the chord up and down. Then the bass, and then one more time. Now the second chord is the C major chord. And with this chord we can do even more. Now the C major chord is a very simple chord. We have uh, open, open, open and three. But in this example we can move the first string from fret number three to fret number two, and also the first string open. So I'm gonna play the chord like this. Now I'm gonna be using a different strumming pattern with a different rhythm, and as you can see, I'm mainly plucking with the up strokes. So I'm gonna do a down stroke. And then I'm going to change the note here between 3 and 2. So I'm doing down, up, 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 then the bass. And then again, down, up, down. And I finish with just open strings. The second chord, the D major chord. Now this is kind of a quite interesting chord because we're playing the um, fourth string open, then the fret number two, two, and open. And the note that I'm changing is the second string from the fret, from the fret number two to the second string open. And I'm using down strokes and up strokes like this. Down, up, down, up down, up, down, then the bass on the third string, and then down, up, down. And we finish with the same chord, the G major chord. So as you can see, I'm changing the last chord. Um, so the G major is the same, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, then the bass. And after the bass, I'm gonna strum the chord. And then I'm gonna play two and five. With the finger picking technique, it could either be index middle or middle and index. Now I'm just going to quickly recap the first section, but as you can see, with a simple strumming pattern, we are able to create so much more movement and melody within the chords. 
Of course, it takes a little bit of time to get used to these movements, but at the same time, guys, it's also simple because all these melodic movements are actually played within the chords. And so once we learn the chord shape, we can just change one note within the chord and add way more color to the chord progression. Now let me play one more time slowly. Now let's play the second section with a slightly different chord progression. Now let's just change the chord progression a little bit. Let's open up with uh, the E minor chord. As you can see guys we're keeping the same vibe uh, we're not doing anything crazy we're still playing more or less the same chords now the E minor is played like this four three two and we're gonna change the note from the fret number two to the open string still the same light strumming then the C major very simple G major and the D major chord. How simple and beautiful, you see? You could be playing this chord progression uh, with just static chords. It still sounds pretty, but with these simple movements, we are able to add way more color to the chord progression. Of course, people, we can actually use the finger picking technique to make everything even more melodic. In fact, with the strumming, we are still keeping things quite rhythmic. Now, of course, we are using melodic chords, so it's pretty nice to have this, uh, you know, different note within the chord. But as soon as we switch to finger picking technique, then we can kind of isolate these uh, melodic notes and make it sound more like a melody than a rhythmic chord progression. Let me show you how. So same chord progression, but completely different sound, completely different approach. Now I start with the same chord, the G major, and I pluck the strings simultaneously, or I can quickly arpeggiate the chord. And I kind of change the melody slightly. Um, I have the chord, and then the first string open, two, open, two, and then three, back to two. Bass. And the same melody with the chord open and two. Now for the C major I'm playing the melody on the fret number three two three two three five and three bass three two and open and I can finish with the last chord Um, which is a D sus, D sus four, and I'm playing open two three and open, and then I'm just going to arpeggiate the strings, second string, first, second, first, and then the first string fret number two, and open again, bass. And then the second string, first string, and we 
finish with the G major chord. Of course, guys, with the finger picking technique, everything is more melodic as we can isolate the notes of the melody. And so it's pretty cool to practice both. Strumming is great if you want to make the melodic chords more rhythmic. And the finger picking is great if you want to create, you know, a simple variation and kind of, you know, get away from the rhythm and just focus more on the melody. Now I'm gonna leave you to practice this guys, really take it step by step. I know that sometimes it can be challenging to play so many chords and especially with the finger picking technique, it can be challenging to plug the right strings. So take it step by step, enjoy this lesson and I'll see you soon.